Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more Lemmings World Tour with Colorful Artie. I, uh, I'm trying to think, what would a world tour with me actually look like in real life? I don't know, but it would be weird because I don't play instruments, and we'd probably be making a lot of stops to get chicken nuggets. <laughs> Anyhow, we're continuing with the Legend rank today. We have backrooted quite a few levels thus far. I'm hoping we can continue that trend, because backrooting generally makes light of levels faster and easier. We're on level 19, Imagine, by John Lennon. Famous song. We got 60 lemmings, 58 to be saved, and a bubble tile set level. Sweet, you don't see a whole lot of those. We've, I won't, <laughs> the only other one I've seen recently was that one that I backrooted massively by gliding into the little nubs in the wall. Okay, so we can kill up to two lemmings, and we got three hatches. The architecture seems pretty simple. We've got one way left, arrows. Okay. Well, clearly a bomber's gonna be one of the things that we get rid of. And we got quite a few climbers as well. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be a tricky one, isn't it? That is a big splatfall. Hmm. No constructive skills. But we got free bashers. That's interesting. Yeah, and that's all one way. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. Okay, folks, I'm seeing something. We can have someone dig, and then we can just keep bashing into the wall to turn around. Because th I'm thinking we're going to have to send a climber at the beginning, and then they're going to have to dig. Like, no two ways about that, really. And then we can bomb at the end to stop them from splatting. Then along the way, we can just kind of bash our way through to let the other lemmings get out. And then mine down at the bottom. Yeah, okay. I think this is just going to be a matter of timing, then. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna make you the next one. There we go. Now when we get that little- I see that little nub of terrain up there, so he will turn around as a result of that. Now all we really have to do, I think, is... well... Okay, we gotta make sure that they won't fall too far, but they shouldn't. Okay, we just stopped the digger. I'm actually kind of okay with that. Because that means we can do this. And then hopefully we can fence our way up at some point in this... Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. You can climb up here and then blow up on your way down. In the meantime, we need also need to fence at the right point. And hopefully not do that. Oh, that's splat height. That's not good. Okay, better idea. Let's bash and then fence in that order.
Now we have to make sure we don't go too low. It's kind of important. And I think that's going to be too low. No, it's not, but it, now they won't actually turn around. That's too far. Yeah. That's also too low. Okay, that's going to be the tricky part, isn't it? Making it so that they don't splat down the tunnel. Maybe we should crank up the release rate earlier. That seems like a good idea. Let's crank up the release rate. We might not even have to send a... Uh... I don't even think we'll need to send another climber down. Uh, maybe not. Darn it. Hmm. Okay, this part's tricky. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we need to time the basher down on this level, and then on the first level, we are going to do the fencer trick. That's what I'm thinking. All right. So if we wait for, like, this lemming to do it... Well, that's still way too early. Let's try this lemming. No, that's still too early. Next lemming, maybe? That should... That should do it! So you turn around... Oh, hang on. One of them's gonna need to fence up. And the other one's gonna... Okay. Gonna make you a climber as well. And unfortunately, I think this means they'll both need to do the bash to turn around here. And you're going to... Bash, and you're gonna fence, and we're gonna pray that you don't cancel each other out like that, which you, of course, did. Okay. You're gonna bash as soon as you touch the ground. You're gonna bash over here. That should give you a little bit more time. It's weird he didn't carry on for the fencer tunnel. Why did he... Do you have to be, like, entirely out of the digger tunnel in order to do that? That's kind of weird. Hmm. Here's a, okay, here's a question. If I do that... Okay, well, I'm gonna need to space them out a bit more. If 
first off, I need to delay them a little bit more. Okay, so right around here, I'm going to max out the release rate. I'm going to send you, and now I'm going to send... Okay. I think this will work. Just to make sure, though. Do that. Why did you stop, you lackwit? Are you kidding me? There we go. Okay. Are you kidding me? These hotkeys are terrible at times. I'm just... I'm trying to get it. Okay. Now I think the problem is going to be turning someone around so that they can mine. That's actually going to be... Ugh. It's always something, isn't it? Always something. Darn it, now they won't turn around. Okay, at what... They're also so deep now that they can't even... Ugh. Ugh, this, is, this is a deceptively tricky level, isn't it? I'll send up a third climber. Well, hang on. Darn it. If I do that, I'm out of bashers to actually turn them around, though. Dak, nabbit. Hmm. Okay. I think I have the right idea over here. With the digging and then the bombing at the end. But I need to turn... Three lemmings around. One to get the top hatch out, one to get them out, and one to get them out. Hmm. Unless... Hmm... <sighs> I wonder how much of this solution I have right. I feel like I have a lot of it right. But maybe that's a trap. I'll save that replay that I have right there, but I'm gonna try something very different. Oh shoot. Well, never mind. I was 
We have no floaters, so we can't get them down there. I was thinking bottom a hole here and then have, well, I mean, go down here and mine, and then they can turn around in the miner tunnel, climb up, hit the miner, hit the ball, the hole in the wall, and then they can fence and bash, and, but we, A, that would use our miner, and yeah. I, know, I guess we could bash our way for that tunnel. Actually, this still might work. We just, it involves us using our digger here. Okay. So if we do that... Okay, we'll have to bomb up a little higher, though. That's also too high. Okay, that's not... Good. Okay. We're gonna send a climber up. Then we're gonna follow that up with... Two more climbers. And that last one I can space out a little bit more. But they're all gonna fall down here. Now what I want to do is I want to mine through all of this. And that will turn some of them around. Okay, no, I need to send him way farther back than that. Like, let's make him all the way back here. Because I want that last climber to turn around when he's down close to the bottom of the tunnel, so that he can turn around and then just bash everyone else out. You're gonna do that. I might have to send him farther back than that. Really? You stopped fencing. Are you serious? That's the solution, though. That uses every skill, too, so that's the solution. It's cool. Alright. So we just gotta... Now, at this point, we, all we have to do is space out the climbers properly. Alright. So I, I sent the first guy here. Okay, second guy goes there. We need a little bit more of a gap between him and the... So we can send you here. We're gonna wait, like, for that. Come on. Please turn around. Don't get all the way out. Please, no. Darn it! It's okay. We can just mine a little farther back. That should do it. You bash through there, you bash through there. And then as you get closer up to the top, you bash through there and everyone should go home free, provided that this is not splat height over here. It's not excellent. Okay, that was a tough one, but that was really good. That, I would say, is very worthy of the legend rank. Just don't... Oh, is he going to splat? He is, but we can afford to kill an extra lane. Okay, that see. I think that must have been 100% intentional. We used every skill and we killed the exact amount of lemmings that we were allowed to. Okay, that was a tough level to suss out. Like, I actually, I thought I saw it immediately, but no. I ended up having to do a pretty different solution than what was expected. But that was really good. That's the good kind of difficult that I really like. That was very fun to suss out. Very good level. Definitely worthy of the legend rank, I would say. Took a bit of time to figure that one out. But very good. Okay, well, <laughs> that took a while to load, so you know it's going to be intense amounts of tile set mixing. Level 20. Don't stop believing by journey. Two lemmings, got to save both of them, and one is going out of each hatch. That's interesting. We got that nice disco ball over there. I love journey. Although, I've got to say, don't stop believing is not my favorite song of journey. That would be Wheel in the Sky. All right, 50 release rate.
Okay, well, that guy is just walking straight to the exit, so clearly he's probably gonna have to do something to help this guy out. Yeah, there are all these one-way arrows here. Hmm. Does he come out to the left? Nope, he's facing to the right. Interesting. That is... Huh. Huh. How are we gonna turn this guy around? Oh, haha! <laughs> Clever! At first, I was so confused. I'm like, how the heck are we even gonna turn that guy around? Alright, probably we need to use another platformer here, maybe? We're gonna have to build over the exit, and we're gonna make you a climber. Alright. I think I'm starting to see the way forward. Alright. We need to bash in such a way that we destroy the maximum amount of terrain ahead. Alright, and that's gonna be it. I hope two builders is enough to get us through the rest of this. Oh yeah, it should be. Because we can dig here, followed by a builder, and then we can dig here and hope... Oh wait. Let's start digging from a little farther back than that, because we need to... Swimmer? Huh, what would we need the swimmer for? Oh, I see. I think I see. Wait. Even if this guy swims across here, he's gonna have nowhere to go, right? I'm confused. I don't really see any other use for the swimmer, though. Hmm. Maybe we can save some constructive skills. Aha! There we go. We can save some constructive skills that way. Really? Man, that, that exit has a big ol' hitbox. Like, a single builder just barely gets around it. I still don't know what the swimmer's really supposed to be used for. I guess if you had the swimmer and the climber be the same lemming, but... I'm still very confused.
That's not going to be squad height, is it? No, it's not. Good. There we go. Nope, that cuts too close. Oh, you jerkwad. But if we do it like this... Then he'll be able to get out. <laughs> and now they should both go to the exit and we save the swimmer and two builders. Woohoo! That was very fun. I definitely enjoyed that one. Probably not exactly as intended, but I was a fan. Cool architecture, not too bad of a solution in terms of difficulty. I, I mean, it was a fun solution. All right, uh, I could go, I could play the next level and risk uh, making this video super long, but I could also potentially get a really easy level and solve it in a couple minutes, but the odds of that happening are pretty low. I'm going to keep the Lemmings videos as close to a half hour as possible, and I don't have confidence that I'll be able to beat the next level in like a couple of minutes. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We are now officially halfway through the Legend rank, and... Well, we had two pretty awesome levels today. I, I can only hope for even better for future videos. I'm hoping that the worst is over with, with that, uh, ugh, that terrible level 7. I don't ever want to have a level like that again that takes multiple recording sessions just to get through it. That would be very bad. But it seems like the levels are really picking up. So I am optimistic that the future levels of this rank are going to be pretty darn good on the whole. So, look forward to those next time until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.